Woo, what is up everybody? It's Saturday. This is Florida Dog 71 here. Today we are gonna be smoking a five pound pork loin in our master belt smoker. We got the temperature up about 250. I'm gonna put our pork loin in here. Alright, there we go, we got it in. And uh, let this cook at 250 for about three or four hours till the temperature gets about 165, 170 inside. We'll see y'all in just a little bit. Woo! Alright, everybody. Alright, everybody, we are back. We got our pork loin loaded. I'm gonna add our wood chips now. I'm gonna smoke this heavy the first two or three hours. Smoking it with a hickory today. All right. All those in. Let's put in a little bit more. Really get this smoke going here. So, we are off and going. Got our meat in, we're gonna reset our time here since it's up to temperature. We got a 250, we're gonna set our time. Let's go for about three hours and 40 minutes and we'll see how it's doing. Alright, this is old Florida Dog 71. Smoking a pork loin today, five pounds. And I got it sitting inside here a little bit, but this is our basement, so it's well ventilated. We ain't gotta worry about that. Uh, that should be really good in a few hours. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Yeah, look at that baby rolling out that smoke. Putting all that smoke in there, baby. Whoever says these electric master bits don't add smoke don't know what they're talking about. Look at it. Just rolling off of there. Master built, baby. Master built. Alright everybody, this is Florida Dog again checking on things. As you can tell, we are just rolling out the smoke. Temperature's holding right at 250. Let me tell you a little something about why this master built smoker so nice. I'm a charcoal man on my grill. I love my steaks and hammers and all that off the charcoal grill. But uh, on smoking, a lot of times you don't have the hours to put in to keep your temperature going if it's just around the house or whatever. You got things to do. Because what we're doing, see there, right there? We've been in the pool and we are enjoying. A beautiful Saturday and the whole time we're out playing that meat's just steady cooking at the desired temperature I said of that so that's one of the huge benefits of this master built smoker and uh just hats off to my man barbecue rando for pointing that point out to me talking me into getting this thing been a wonderful purchase and we will check back in with y'all later all right, we're going to head down and check on that pork loin. Got about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes left. Here we go. 2.50. Hour and 12 minutes. That internal temperature is almost 150, so it's right on track. Got a little glare on. I don't know if you can see it, but that is looking good. Uh, probably the 
last little video before I take it out down here in the basement while we're down here I know I got some pyros watching this so there's my artillery shell racks my guns for those got some posters that echo in the ear that Robert Weller sent me sent me actually sent me two of them that was a new for 20 14 window poster. Still got them. There's a few mortars shot over the years. Fourth to be here before we know it. Less than a month. There's a dueling tree. A little target. Things they used to shoot. Yeah, the fourth to be here less than a month. And I know everybody's getting excited. Get some shout outs to some guys that's been on here for as long as I have. Three, four years. That's old K Pyro. Oh. Crazy E650. Robert Weller. Chicho. Pyro Nut. My man, Barbecue Rando, talk to him almost daily. But uh, I know this Pyro Nation community is good. Best thing about it, it's more than just fireworks. It's other interests and nobody judges. Pass no judgment on each other. But uh, with the fourth coming up, everybody just think safety get them stashes up I said make sure safety is the main priority I know I see some videos out there and people hand throwing stuff and lining out your hand and throwing it man y'all gotta be smarter than that you could really get hurt doing that stuff but uh I know y'all ain't watching this be preached that so I'll carry on but uh Looking forward to the fall. So probably next time we check this out, I'll be ready to pull out about an hour off. Coming back to you later. Bye. All right, everybody. So here's our pork loin. Let's slice it and see what we got. Oh yeah, that looks real, real good there. Can y'all see that? That is good looking. Good piece of pork right there. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Talk to y'all later.